Julian, go ahead. Let, lend us your expertise real quick. Uh, oh, who do you think, who I think is going to stand at the end? Yeah, who's going to be the, 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 the big crowned king at 147 when it's all said and done? I think that it will be Errol Spence. Uh -huh. I think that the person that poses the biggest problem is uh, Terrence Crawford, but I uh -huh. think that he might be a little too, it's a little out of his weight class. I think that Spence is a big 40-second pounder going on to 54, and I think that Terrence Crawford is developing into 47. Um, I do think that Terrence Crawford is a lot more versatile. He can do a lot more things. He can counter punch, he can brawl, he can box, he can switch, he can switch lefty, he can switch righty. So he's got a lot more tools in a toolbox. And um, but and I think that uh, Errol Spence is a little bit more like masterful at what he does, but he's a little less versatile. He has less tools in the toolbox, but. I think his his number his number one tool, which is like pressure and bringing a guy down. I think that Terence Crawford might just be a little too small. And, and as you're saying, he's just one, a big one forty seven going to fifty four. Yeah. So these fights gotta happen now before exactly. he outgrows one forty seven. Exactly. I mean, um, he's, he can't wait around all long. All exactly. Day. I mean, yep. Exactly. And with with when it comes to Keith Thurman, I'm, I'm actually a, a big fan of Keith Thurman. I like his attitude toward everything. He, he understands boxing, and I don't think he's scared of anyone, but he understands the business. Um, but I think that Errol Spence just goes to the body too well for Keith Thurman. Um, uh, Keith Thurman's been hurt before the body by Robert Greer, uh, uh, Robert Greer Sean Porter, and uh, Luis, Col Luis Colazzo. And I think that Errol Spence is a much better body puncher than all those guys. And Errol Spence, he, he trusts in his investments early to the body. You know, he goes to the body real. He's a true professional. He goes to the body early. He, 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 he watches the fruits of his label, labor late in the rounds because he breaks guys down early there. How do you take the way Errol Spence is, 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 is going about trying to get the Thurman fight? Is, is that good? Is that how he's going to get it? Yeah, he's got to keep calling out. He's got to keep letting surface, keep let, let, letting people hear that he's calling out Thurman and Thurman is not accepting. Um, like Thurman said, I read some article that Thurman said the fight won't happen this year, in 2018. And I don't think it will. I mean, Thurman has been out for a long while as well with the injury. So it's not fair to jump right into yeah, no, to pressure him to have jump. one or two, 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 two way easier fights and then um, get a shot. At the end of the day, that could be a super fight too. Why, well, I mean, I understand that Errol Smith wants to unify the belts. And like, what people don't understand, like, it is a business, you know? Like, these guys, these it guys is. are the ones who sacrifice everything to be in these this positions. Their life. So exactly, so why would Keith Thurman fight this guy now when it, for X amount of money when he could make a way more money maybe yeah. next year when both, both of their names have elevated, you know what I'm saying? But Errol Spence, the more Errol Spence I mean, calls him out... Canelo Golovkin did it, maybe exactly, Pacquiao did it, and exactly. look at the outcome. Is um, and the biggest thing with them is he, uh, they should keep doing what they're doing, talking, 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 and talking because that's only going to make the fight bigger. You know, Errol Spence should continue calling him out and continue calling him out. Keith Thurman is not scared of him, but I think that he should. they should both be talking a lot of shit because what's going to happen? The fight's going to get bigger and they're going to get paid more.